when I finished my postdoctoral fellowship, I obtained a position in the Department of Ophthalmology and Biochemistry at Baylor College of Medicine. Um, I was new to eye research at the time, and the first thing I did was to survey all of the eye tissues for their lipid content. And I started at the cornea, worked my way back to the retina, and when I examined the retina, I found huge amounts of docosahexaenoic acid. And when we isolated the photoreceptor membranes and looked at those phospholipids, the levels were even higher. Um, I was officed next door to an electrophysiologist, and we talked about these data, and he said, well, what are those long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids doing there? I mean, if they're so concentrated in photoreceptor membranes, they must have some physiological function. And I told him that these were essential fatty acids and that I could change the composition simply by denying uh, omega-3 fatty acids in the diet. So we did the experiment and we produced rats that were devoid or reduced in DHA levels in their photoreceptor outer segments. He and a graduate student did the electrophysiology and came back with the results that were astonishing that those animals that had lower levels of DHA had lower responses to light. The electrophysiology that he did was electroretinography, which is like an EKG of the eye. And we found then that the levels of uh, DHA corresponded to an increased sensitivity of the photoreceptors to light. We then had to do another experiment though to show that it was actually the omega-3 fatty acids that were responsible. And the experiment was to feed these animals on a diet containing no fat, 2% oleic acid, 2% linoleic acid, and 2% linolenic acid, and a mixture 1% linoleic and linolenic. When they did the electrophysiology, it was clear that the animals that were on the linolenic acid diet had a much greater response to light than those on linoleic or oleic. We published two papers in Science in the uh, middle 70s uh, describing these experiments. Soon thereafter, Martha Neuringer did similar experiments in primates and got a similar result that showed the levels of DHA in membranes was important in determining function. Ten years later, uh, Ricardo Huawei, uh, Eileen Birch, and a number of others began to do electrophysiology on term and preterm human infants that had uh, been raised without breast milk feeding or on synthetic uh, formulas. And there was a clear difference there in the response. Contemporary with that, uh, Susan Carlson, uh, Michael Crawford, Sheila Ennis, and a number of others were looking at cognitive function in infants that had been raised on different diets. It turns out that uh, including the omega-3s, DHA, fish oils in the diet, had a big effect. So in looking back on these experiments, uh, uh, our goal as scientists is to do something that will ultimately be translated into a benefit for our fellow man. And it, it's uh, rewarding for all of us who have been involved in this work to see now that the infant formulas that we buy in the store contain DHA and other polyunsaturated fatty acids.